drums with Ollie West and the Wildflowers and today I was just going to talk to you a bit about how I recorded the song uh, Shelf Life from here, right here in my uh, decrepit little drum room within four mics. Yeah. Uh, I used a technique called Glyn Johns, you know, it's pretty famous, he used on Led Zeppelin, all the big kind of rock stuff. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple, you know, you just look up a tutorial on YouTube, set it all up, you know, see if it makes a good sound. Does it make a good sound? Yes. You're alright, you're alright, good to go. Yeah, recorded it after that. Um, found that Glyn Jones, for me, was a bit unbalanced when I was speaking to our engineer slash producer, Jack. And he, yeah, we both agreed it was a bit of balance, so we ended up using like doubling uh, the kit sound with um, samples as well, which is pretty common, you think you find in like a lot of produced music. So, so, like, if you, you know, thinking of recording something in your room, don't, don't worry, you know, like, you can. Obviously, it's very important to get a good kit sound at first, but if you end up having to use samples as well to sort of beef it up, you know, make it sound a bit more produced, then like, that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, in terms of influences for drums, uh, Ollie had pretty much written the part that he wanted, so I just kind of laid it down. Uh, it's sort of influenced by this Waterboys tune, I can't remember which one, but similar beat. Um, but this is kind of like... Just wanted it to sort of like, kind of like bubble along, keep everything kind of moving, a circular motion, and yeah, that's how we ended up with the part of God. Uh, 